Way doesn't set up many goals with his head, but this perfect pass allowed Curitan to open the scoring. A masterly nod down from the player manager, and perhaps it wasn't going to be such a bad day for Curitan after all. With David Lee imposing himself on midfield, Rovers' self-belief increased by the minute, and Mark McKeever was next to show up Reading's suspect back line. A mazy dribble from the lone signing, and almost a goal to remember. McKeever was also behind the move that brought Rovers a 57th minute penalty. His cross was controlled by Roberts, who then had to take on two defenders. They were more interested in wrestling than playing football, giving referee Barry Knight an easy decision. Perhaps two penalties should have been awarded, as Darren Kasky and Neil Clement both committed fouls at the same time. Curitan had to make do with one spot kick, and nonchalantly made it 2-0. Reading developed a bad case of the jitters, and Curitan's hat-trick soon followed. Suicidal defending, but a finish right out of the top drawer. A moment of good fortune with the ricochet, but the little striker was confident enough to shoot early and struck his effort perfectly. Curitan could simply do no wrong. It seemed wherever he went, the ball was likely to follow, and the outcome was inevitable. 4-0, and number 16 of the season for a player often confined to the flank positions. Again, the deflection fell perfectly, and Curitan wasn't going to miss from three yards. Now it was time for a little midfield wizardry. The final touch wasn't perfect, but Lee managed to make it into another scoring chance. With Rovers fans taunting their former player, Trevor Chalice was next to let fly from distance. Goalkeeper Lee Jones had been a virtual spectator during the Rovers' spree, but when called into action by Phil Parkinson, he was ready to play his part. Now Curitan was to turn goal-maker, as his pace again left Reading floundering. Roberts looked sure to be crowded out, but this was a day when anything was possible for Rovers strikers. Three defenders on hand to clear, but by now Reading boss Tommy Burns must have been reaching for the service revolver. Steve Foster's amazing vision led to Rovers' sixth goal. How about this for a defence-splitting pass? And just when Reading thought they dealt with it, up Pop Roberts to complete a memorable victory. Sadly, he's no John Cleese when it comes to silly walks. There was barely time for demoralised Reading to kick off before Rovers were able to celebrate an astonishing 45 minutes. What a day for the massed ranks of travelling fans. Coach Gary Penrice was soon leading the applause for that following, who were only too glad to show their appreciation of a stunning second half display.